Hey, Colin, what do you got there? I got Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt? I got I got SpongeBob. <laughs> but maybe, maybe, we maybe we should trade. Here, okay. Yo play Greek yogurt. Yo play yogurt. Dad, I think we should trade. I think you like um, SpongeBob. SpongeBob? Yeah. I well, I do like SpongeBob, but 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 wait, Colin, I, I like I like the yogurt too, but I, I like this too. But wait, I like that one too, Colin. Get, Get these on sale at KTA. KTA. My name is Hilary Luna. I'm the current Miss Teen Lehu Hawaii 2012-2013. We're here today at Nani Loa Hotel taking pictures so that the new girls and new contestants for the Miss Teen Lehu Hawaii and Young Miss Lehu Hawaii pageant contestants can be in our program book. Hi, my name is Shadia Bautista. I go to Hilo High School. I'm 16 years old, and the reason why I entered this pageant is to gain more self-confidence and to have fun. Hi, my name is Nalani Kaimi. I'm a junior at Kamehameha Schools, and I entered this pageant to be able to give back to the community while trying something new and um, out of my comfort zone at the same time. Hi, my name is Trisha Leslie. I'm 16 years old. I go to Hilo High School, and I joined this pageant to build my confidence. Hi, my name is Kalia Watson. I'm 15 and I currently attend Kamehameha High School. The reason I joined this pageant is to help build my confidence as well as just have a new experience. My name is Asia Simpson. I'm homeschooled. I'm 16 and I did this because Fred asked me to. Hi, I'm Abigail Doman. I'm 16 years old and I go to Waikia High School. The reason I joined this pageant is to meet new people and have a great experience. Hi, my name is Taylor Matos. I am currently attending Hilo High School and I'm 16. The reason why I wanted to join this pageant is to gain new experiences and definitely gain self-confidence and try something new. I go to Waikia Intermediate School and the reason I entered this pageant is because I think it would be a great experience for me and a great way to gain self-confidence. Hello, my name is Kennedy Tabora. I am 11 years old. I go to Kamehameha School, Hawaii and I entered this pageant so I could meet new people and try new things. Hi, my name is Keely. I'm 11 years old and I go to Commandment Schools. I joined this pageant because I wanted to do it with my friend Kennedy and I wanted to try new things. Hi, my name is Haley Kalai and I go to Commandment Schools Hawaii and I'm 12 years old. I chose to enter in this pageant because I wanted to meet new friends. My name is Kelia. I am 13 years old and I go to Commandment Schools Hawaii. The reason why I entered this pageant is to step out of my comfort zone and try new things. Hi, my name is Rain Dangaran. I am 10 years old and I go to Kamehameha Schools. The reason that I joined this pageant was because I wanted to help the community and wanted to meet new friends. Come down and support the Lehua Hawaii Productions 2013 Young Miss and Miss Teen Lehua Hawaii Productions pageant. If you have any questions, you can contact us at lehuahawaiiproductions at gmail.com and on Facebook. The pageant is on April 27th at the Civic Auditorium. Wow, man, summer is almost here. So remember to not only exercise and keep your body fit, but keep your mind alert. Hey, like Summer Youth Academy, man, you should sign up today. And hey, with that, We'll have Maya and the Demo Dancers Day. Come on, Maya. Finish off this program. Aloha. Demo is all about dancing and exercising. Dance, energy, and motion. So let's see your demo dance.
Shaka Wood, bruh. Woohoo! That's all you gotta do. When you bust the routine, you just throw the shaka. Okay, so we're gonna show you guys some Shaka Wood dancing. school is an unbelievable place man you know they're doing hands-on learning here they're a high-tech school i read in the newspaper governor Abercrombie was here the governor spent some time in the classroom and was so impressed with what was going on and then you do you record it on there yeah i um record it on there and i can, can you show me yeah. yes very good. After he observed how the school was using their technology, the governor said, Schools, they need to come into these classrooms and see these wonderful teachers and see these marvelous kids in a learning situation that not only makes you feel good, but makes you recognize that this digital technology is turning these kids loose. Loose in a world of improving their minds, uh, adding to their knowledge, and making their lives much more fulfillable. I spoke to Keao Elementary School Principal Keone Farias. You know, at Keao Elementary, we just try to provide opportunity for kids to, to practice real life skills, to learn 21st century skills, and you know, close that achievement gap or for our high poverty kids, close that experience gap so that they can uh, just find their way in the world and, and have a chance at college and a career. Well, wow, fantastic. So tell me about the, the, you know, I read in the paper about the governor being here. What, what, what actually happened? Yeah, so for the last three years, we embarked on this journey to provide a device for all students. And so to some degree, uh, two years ago, we had half our campus where every child had a device and could access, you know, the, the internet and, and technology and some digital curriculum. So when they saw us leading the way, uh, organizations like HEI and Aloha United Way stepped in to help us uh, get devices for the other half of campus and so now all 800 kids have their own device we're uh, on a new journey looking for the perfect digital curriculum that teaches the common core state standards and gives them the opportunity to practice using that 21st century skill Hawaii Electric Company who's a major contributor to make all of this possible I asked President Jay Ignacio his thoughts about the project you know, we're proud to support this effort uh, of providing laptops in the schools here at Keao Elementary and Middle School. Uh, helpful support has been through being part of the Hawaiian Electric Industries Charitable Foundation, but also some of our staff were responsible for delivering the laptops to the schools here and actually having, having them set up here. With the laptops, they get immediate feedback. We saw the students uh, working problems. Uh, some of the problems I looked at were even of the high school and some college level uh, work problems. Uh, it allowed the students to work on an independent pace uh, so the teachers could coach some of the other students that needed some coaching. I spoke to two third graders, Frank and Haley, about this new technology. Where Frank? 
Raise your hand. Eee. And we have Haley. Raise your hand. Eee. So, Frank, you guys are, have all kind of computers here on campus, right? Mm-hmm. So, what kind of um, computers do you have? Max. So, so what do you do on the computer? We go on IXL, Kitbiz, Edison, and HSA. And wow. And, and, the, and what, what else you guys got on campus there, Haley? Um, we have smart boards. Wow. So, how do you use the smart board? You write on it, and like when you go on a certain computer, you there it'll show what you're doing on the smart board. So Haley, when the governor came here, were you excited? Yeah. Oh, what do you thought about the governor? I thought he was nice. A nice man. He was easy to talk to. Uh-uh. <laughs> so what? What? When the governor came, what were you doing? Uh, we were uh, using our laptops. Wow, so what, did he say anything? A uh, little bit. What did he say? I do not know. <laughs> you forgot. Oh, you know, the, the, the governor um, was very, very excited when he came here. And, um, you know, he's uh, he has those memories of, of you folks working so hard. And, and um, you know, computers are really, really an important thing. Why don't we wave to the camera? Okay. Hey, bye bye. Hi, mommy. Hi, mommy. Hi, daddy. Hi, friend. Mr. Fris, thank you for what you do here. Your campus is an awesome place to be. Awesome. Come back anytime. Thanks for visiting. Our goal is to make sure every single child in the state has the opportunity to learn digitally just the way.